Good morning, people. It's around 11, almost 11 o'clock on Wednesday. Cooper. And Cooper's in his harness, his new harness we got. Hi, buddy. And he looks like he knows he's going to the vet. <laughs> We're going to be leaving here in about 10 minutes, and I think he knows. But So, yeah, he's going to the vet to get checked out and probably get some shots. And, oh, who else knows what else. But Tr nails trimmed. Nails trimmed. He's got lots of stuff going on. He's very overdue. So, we're good. that's what we're doing. So, I'm not going to bring my iPad because it's too much of a hassle and all of that. So, I'm just saying here he is now, and you'll see him after the visit. Please pray for us. God help us because he's very, very hard to take to the vet. He, he's just not happy. And we have to muzzle him because you know him. He could be a little rough on the edges. So um, when we get there, we'll put a muzzle on him and um, he barks and he's just a crazy man. So that's not going to be fun. But anyway, I would video on my um, phone, but my phone stinks as a video. So I can't do that. So We'll just, I'll just snap some pictures maybe of him and we, I can insert them and, uh, you know, whatever. But he's going to be fine. We're going to go and, um, yeah, wish us luck, guys. See you in a minute. Hey, guys. So we're back. Yes, it's much, much later. It's around 3.20 in the afternoon. And, um, wow, was that fun. Let me tell you something. Cooper is just rough. First of all, we had a, we always muzzle him because he has to be muzzled because he goes to, he goes to nip people. He doesn't like strangers. He doesn't like the vet, especially. And it just, it makes everything crazy. Everything. This is what Jenny made me for Valentine's Day. Isn't that the cutest thing I wanted to show you guys? Cutest things. So it just makes everything worse than what it is. Okay. So it just was, he was barking and just growling and just, so they had, he had to get shots. He had to get three shots. So they, we had a practically, Billy had to give him a bear hug. Billy had him uh, giving him a bear hug. He was, he was, you know, uh, I was in front of his face trying to distract him. So once he got the first shot, then he was like a crazy man. He didn't want, you know, he didn't. So anyway, they had to do the three shots quick, and then they tried to take blood, and he moved. He wouldn't stay still. We couldn't get that done. We couldn't clip his nails because he wouldn't let them. He was just, you know, he was going to nip them, and he had the muzzle on and everything. He was going to nip me. Like, he gets he gets so crazy. He's a completely different dog when he's outside in out of the house, and it's mostly the vet. So um, we couldn't do any of that. So we had to make an appointment again for two months to get him. Um, we're gonna, we have, the, uh, we have medicine that we give him beforehand. So it just makes him more relaxed and kind of calm down and stuff. And that really helps. So uh, we're gonna, he, I'm gonna bring him back in two months and, um, uh, and get his blood work done and get um, his nails clipped. So we, we made that appointment, but as far as the seizures, she said, there is one other medication that they could add to him. Um, she said, but right now she said she feels like, you know, having a seizure once a month with, ep with epilepsy is, is pretty normal. And, um, she said, well, it, if it's, if it's, a, if it's, if it's monthly, then, um, it, it's recommended to probably give him another pill, but it's been like six, seven weeks. It goes six, seven weeks, so it's not monthly. So if it gets any worse, and when I bring him back there in two months, then we're gonna add the pill. If it just continues the way it is and whatever, then we're just gonna um, we're gonna leave him off of the, an extra pill because he takes enough medication to begin with. So as far as the food goes, she said that's really great that I'm doing that. So that's fine. She says, but she wants me to give him less because. He's gained like 10, 15 pounds since he's been there last and she doesn't want him. You know, he has an ACL that he had repaired on his hip and all that. And she doesn't want him to really gain much more weight because it's it'd just be hard on his body. Because even though he had that surgery, he had that, that fixed his ACL, um, it still would be harder on his body for him to carry that leg like that. So anyway, so instead of me giving him four cups of the food a day, plus his kibble, she wants me to give him three and a half or no, three cups a day, 
So one and a half in the morning, one and a half in the, e in the evening, and then he gets his kibble during the day. Um, she said, um, and so we we did that. We, we're going to do that, and that's all fine. Um, so he's he's doing well. Everything else is okay. They wanted to ch I wanted him to check his ears because every once in a while, he hasn't done it recently, but in the last couple of months, he's been scratching at his ears sometimes. He goes through little phases like that, but I, they wouldn't, he couldn't, they, they couldn't check his ears. He was like a beast. He was like a crazy man. So, <clears throat> anyway, he got all his shots. He got his rabies. Everything's up to date and all that now. And now I feel a little bit better. I can put my head on the pillow at night. Some nights I worry about him. He was a little overdoing his shots and everything. You know, it's like a kid. You worry about them when they need the stuff that they need that you can't get them what they need because you don't have the money. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Let me tell you something. $285? No, it was $320, actually. $320 because I'm paying... I Also, I made a payment towards a bill that I owe for my other dog still that, that I'm paying monthly. I know we skip some months or two. Anyway, so I had to pay $320 today. Yeah. And then um, he also needed heartworm prevental... Um, Prevental medication that I haven't been that I didn't have for him, so I got a three month supply of that. That was another forty dollars. So my paycheck, my husband's paycheck, it's gone before you even get it. Before you even get it, it's gone. You know, so that's like money that you don't count on coming out of your paycheck. But um, you know, he had to go. He had to go. So I mean, you know, it is what it is. You got to figure it out. So. We'll figure it out. You know, it is what it is. So it's done, and um, that's all we can do. That's all we can do. So I'm glad that was done. That's done. And so I feel better about that. But yeah. So yeah, that was fun. Um, <coughs> that was spicy. Thank God my husband was with me. I can't do that without my husband. There's no way I could do that for myself. He's so heavy. He's such a bull. He's just crazy. Anyway, that <coughs> that all worked out, guys. Very stressful. He's and after the vet appointments, he's always out. He came home. He, I think he ate. He did eat a little bit of his dry food. Yeah. He ate some of his kibble. Did he eat some of his kibble? Yeah. And then he is knocked out on the couch. Knocked out sleeping on the couch. So it's always like that after he comes home. It's stressful. It's, a, it's very stressful for him, for us. You know, it's a big thing. Anyway, that's that. So it's 3.30. I'm going to get started cooking. Oh, my shoulder. Um, I took that stupid sling off. I, I'm not wearing it for a little while because it's annoying the hell out of me. And my shoulder still hurts. I'm still getting sharp pains in it. And it's, um, it hurts, but I think it's definitely better than it was yesterday. So, um, I, I think that it's, it is just bruised. I don't think it's fractured or broken, like they said. But, um, I'm just taking it easy. I can't put a lot of pressure on it still and, and all that. But I'm just taking it easy with it and, um, I think it's just really, really bruised. I think I was really, really lucky in every possible way. And I did last night. I found a scab on my head. Um, and so I think it even bled a little bit. I think I did cut my head when I fell. But we didn't notice it that night. But yesterday I was I was, I, I was touching my head over where it happened last night. And I realized it was really sensitive in one spot. And then I felt. And there was like a little scab there. And Billy saw it. It was like a little cut. So... I did her hit my head, too. I mean, I was lucky, guys. Lucky, lucky, lucky. So, I'm telling you. Just, just, it's crazy. It's crazy. All right, so anyway, I'm going to get dinner started. Preparing, starting to prepare dinner. I'm going to roast some of these um, vegetables that I wanted to do. I got to get this freaking Gatsu de Mama squash cut up and, and roasted. I have other, all those other vegetables that I showed you guys yesterday that I want to roast and get all that so I don't waste any of that. Um, and as far as dinner goes, I'm thinking still what I'm going to make. It's either 
chicken pork chops um, or something with chopped meat with noodles. I don't know. I'm thinking. Um, I do have some leftovers in the fridge. We had some for lunch today. And, um, but there isn't much leftovers to, for meals. There's only, you know, leftovers for like lunches and stuff, which is great. I had my, I had my chicken wings today. Me and Frankie ate them when I got home. I had most of them and Frankie had a couple that I got at, um, Popeye's the other day. And, um, uh, I have a little piece of steak still that I'm going to give to Cooper that I'm not eating leftover from the other restaurant thing. So, um, you know, um, whatever I have, and, and by the way, whatever I have in the refrigerator, people have made a comment, somebody made a comment about, oh, I have so many leftovers, why don't I just have leftovers? Yes, we do eat the leftovers, but at some nights, if I don't want to have a leftover, like let's say I had meatloaf last night, and the next night I don't want meatloaf, I will leave the meatloaf in there, and the next day we'll eat it, or we'll eat it two days later, or I'll freeze it, or something. I do waste some things sometimes. It just happens and life happens and that's what happens sometimes. But it's not intentional. And I do try to eat every single thing that we can use up. So um, somebody made a comment that it was wasteful. Um, we're not perfect people and sometimes things do get wasted. Sometimes things do get wasted. But... Um, that's life guys and I'm not going to apologize for that so thank you very much for your concern I love all of you you guys know and that's that um so yeah so let's get going this just fell out of the cabinet so let me get gather up all the vegetables and stuff and get moving on that and then I can think about what I'm going to make for dinner well, what do we want tonight I asked my husband and his you know what his answer is what's his answer I don't care Whatever you want. I hate that, guys. Oh, my God. I hate that so much. All right. So, I'm going to sharpen my knife. And then we're going to get going because it's already 10 to 4. So, I want to get these in there roasting. Is this my new knife? Yeah, this is the new one. I just got Sharpen it. I've got to be careful with my hand. I still can't put a lot of pressure on it, my arm. All right, let's do this squash. Um, I want to peel it. So I'm going to cut it. See, that's why I put it in the microwave, guys, because it softens it up and you're able to handle it easier. Let me get the... Um, I heard that that um, peelers, it's hard to do that with, with a peeler. It's said to do it with a paring knife. It's easier. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it with a paring knife. I'm going to sharpen this a little bit. All right, so let's try and do this. This will cut off here. I hope it's not too soft because, um, yeah, that's good to say, because, uh, I don't want them to overcook. I want them to roast, but I don't want it to, it reminds me of sweet potato, you know, just trying to not get all the, get all the, the flesh. I want just the skin, obviously. Oh.
put a paper towel here for all the scraps. Mm, it smells good. I wonder if I should try what I do with this knife. Yeah, I think this knife is better. That part peeled. Well, it has a it has a pit in it, I guess, huh? It has um seeds, I mean. to my right hand, right? It had to be the right side. So I do everything. So, um, one of my YouTuber friends, one of my, watch, you know, my, um, subs, um, made me aware of something that I didn't even realize yesterday, um, th last night, I read it today, though, um, she's, um, hearing impaired, and she said that, um, if she was wondering if by any possible way I could... Um, when I, when I make my videos, when I show you guys when, what I eat, if I could please not like talk as I'm eating because she can't, she reads lips and she can't understand what I'm saying when I'm eating at the same time because she can't see the, she can't see my words because I'm, you know, putting stuff in my mouth. So she asked me if, it, if, if there's any way that that I could, you know, eat either right before or, you know, and I, and she's, and, and what, what bothered me a little bit about it wasn't her question. It was that she was worried about asking the question. Like she said, I just have a question for you and I don't want you, please try to, you know, please be kind and, and, and I'm just trying to ask you a question. I'm not criticizing. I'm not, I felt so bad because I, she she just didn't really feel comfortable and asking asking because she felt like I might have taken it the wrong way or whatever. And I felt so bad because, of course not. You can ask questions, guys. I don't want to criticize people asking questions, Al, or anything like that. I, 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 I look forward to your questions. I want your questions. And I want your concerns. And if you have something like that, that that's a concern for you and for other people, please, please say. So, no, hon, it was fine that you said that. And I wrote back to you. And I told you that's completely fine. And yes, I will definitely try to be more aware of um, of eating while I'm talking. If I'm eating, I won't talk. You know, I'll try not to. I'll try my best is what I'm going to say. And I'm going to try to go to the settings and do the CC on there so that um, the hearing impaired can, um, can read it more or can, you know, have whatever they need to have if that's what I have to do. So I just want to say it's okay. Thank you so much for bringing that to my attention. I love you, and it's great, and no worries about it, guys. No worries, okay? So, yeah, so, I, you know, I just wanted to say that. All right, let's see. This this here looks like it has oh, seeds in it. Ooh, cool. So let's get a spoon. Ow.
So butternut squash, huh? I guess I can use the um, use the the um, the seeds for this too. Excited about that. Getting excited about this this summer season for the garden. Can't wait. Definitely gonna save some of these seeds. those little strings off. We don't want that. Do the other one. Let's cut this here first, Al. Cut that. And, um, I tell you, there's other parts of my body today that are starting to hurt. Like my tailbone hurts. I think I hurt that. My my knee hurts. My left knee hurts a little bit. Um, so I think things are starting to, you know, I think after a few days, it, it starts, other things start coming out. And that's normal because I smashed my whole body. It wasn't just, I mean, I landed on my freaking shoulder, but my whole body was, you know, traumatized. So it's normal, I guess, to have all that. But uh, yeah, so that's what's happening. So um, yeah, I, you know, again, I was very lucky. Very, very lucky. Because it could have been worse. All right, so I'm gonna put this to the side and like I said, I'm going to save. I'm definitely saving some of these seeds. Because I definitely want to grow some butternut squash. And like I told the lady that I wrote, you know, about the, the hearing thing, um, uh, you know, she said, please be kind. I said, I'm all about kind. I'm all about kind, you know. I, I never want to portray myself as nasty or anything like that. Sometimes I do get a little frustrated when I have to defend myself to other people and all that stuff. But I'm never, ever, never, never, and I never, my intention is never to be unkind or mean or nasty. So, just want you to know that. All right, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna wait another minute, and then I'm gonna put I'm gonna cut these up, and then I'm gonna put the um, the oven on. In a minute. So let's cut. I want these like in fairly not huge chunks. Like I want them, you know, but I don't want them also. I think they're gonna make them like that, so they don't you know undercook. Let's do this. Let's do this. I really want them like in kind of like in chunks. So. 
So, trying to do that. Mm -mm. The smell, it smells so amazing. I like the smell of squash. It smells like, mm, like sweet potato and, and carrot-like. Just getting a little bit more of the skin off here. See, I feel like these should be cut again. I don't know. Don't want them huge and don't want them tiny. Want them kind of in the middle. I think I'm going to just cut it like that. Yeah, perfect. And then we'll do that. And that one should be cut a little bit more. And that one should be cut a little bit more. And I got news for you. Nobody in the house is freaking except me is going to eat this freaking squash. So I'm going to be eating it for days. Nobody what? Nobody's going to eat this freaking roasted squash. Because you won't, you're a pain that won't even fry anything. I try things. He gave me such an, uh, uh, an issue before. I, I made a protein shake, you know. And I made it with coffee because my daughter suggested. You know, she said she heard that you, if you make it with coffee, you know, you can get your coffee in too. You can get your coffee fix in and then you can also have like a shake. So I, I added the, pro, I, I added a different one. It was a, um, a Girl Scout cookie one that I, that they had given us for free. So I added that. Let me put the oven on. I'm going to put the oven on 400. Because ah. roast. No, I'm going to do 425 actually. Because I want to roast him on a high flame. And uh, so I wanted him to taste it because he's a coffee drinker. And I thought he would like it. Oh, my God. To get him to taste it was one thing. You know, he finally would taste it. And then he was like, oh, it's too thick. It's too... Uh... Like, men, they're so... They're such babies. They yeah, really are babies. What? Men are such babies. Not. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. Ow. <coughs> Leave it! Stop! What are you cutting my I cut them a perfect way! Ow, Bill, don't do that. My arm hurts. I didn't hit your arm. I hit my leg, which made me twist my arm. Alright. All right, so. What I'm gonna do is put some olive oil here. I still gotta figure out what the main meal's gonna be. Pork chops, chicken.
Get no help from nobody. What should I do? Boo hoo hoo. Ow. I think what I'm going to do is roast the carrots and carrots and the squash together. trays we got guys they're circle they're circle ice trays little balls they come out little ice uh, ices aren't they cute can't even see this fancy thing I had a piece of, um, oh, I do, a piece of uh, squash on my arm, on my hand. Piece of what? I had a piece of squash on my hand. Oh. Al? I don't know why you're not wearing this time. Because I can't wear it right now. Five pound bags that I bought. 
And that's why I'm making these for myself because the rest of them I use for Cooper. And I haven't had carrots in a while. I cooked carrots, so. And I love to cook carrots. I love to cook carrots, so. I leave the, um, the skins on because they're so much better for him. So, you know, th that skin is so nutrition, it's so nutritional. Yeah, so the doctor was very happy that, um, she seemed very happy about the food situation. Yeah. You know? She's going to have to weight. Yeah, she was like, um... He definitely needs to lose, he definitely shouldn't be gaining so much more weight. <laughs> I mean, it's not, be, yeah, it's not because of the food that we've been giving him, it's just no. that he gets sweet, you know, he eats. And it is winter, so. And it's winter. Once he starts getting out more outside, we're going to actually start taking him for walks, right? We're going to, we're going to attempt it. We're going to see. So we got him a new harness and stuff, and we want to start um maybe doing that so because he's not a very good walker he's not good with people we think you we all know that he walks very well he walks it's well it's not that it's up. just that as soon as he as soon as he sees somebody he freaks out and you know it's this big thing so we'll see but yeah so i gotta try to make he these walks very well though. yeah i gotta try to make these the same size because I don't want them to, uh, they have to all be done around the same time. right here are pars parsley cooks, eh? Well, the knife goes pretty much into them, so they're not going to take long at all. Add more water in here. Yeah, in the back on the second shelf, all the way in the back, on the right. Yeah. Second shelf. Yeah. If you want me, I'll get them later. They're, no, they're right. There's two. Them yeah, there's two bottles in there. I mean, the second shelf. Third shelf, whatever it is. I can't do this if I use my. Yeah. Man. Right hand. It's there, Bill. You want me to get it? No, don't worry about it. I'm going to put some in here. Anyway. Oh. I'll, I'll get the water later for you. I know that they're there because I put them there. All right, let's season this up. Oh, God.
Okay. What? Alrighty then. Salt. Pepper. Movie looks so depressed. Come on. He's, he's just tired. He asked, this is how he is after the vet. He always is like that. You left the salad four hours ago. Put it back in the fridge. I can't. Girl. They can't see you. What are you dinner? I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to bake. Mm. I'm making squash and carrots right now that you people don't eat. Yeah, that is good food. It's yeah. too good and healthy for me. Yeah, I know. It's so hard to do. Where's your slime? Ah, uh, shush. I'm not, wearing, I'm not wearing it right now. I did cold from the other day and I'm tired. What happened? Well, I've been profing the other day, not Tylenol. I thought you put Tylenol. I grabbed the wrong one. You can't take that like that. You gotta get. We gotta I can't get. Take it all the time. No, no we gotta get Tylenol because you I know I do, but I can't get it today. Well, I'm gonna have to go to the store. Well, I'm saying today I can't get it. Why? I'll run that after dinner. Huh? I'll run that after dinner. I don't want you. No, to I have some. I oh, okay, I you have some. have some. I have some Tylenol. All right, yeah, because he can't. Yeah, he can't take a lot of um, ibuprofen for his stomach. I have uh, like one of those portable pill bottle glasses in it. Okay. So I have like six or eight maybe. Yeah, I have some enough for. Okay. So the weekend. Okay. This man that I bought the one one. Well, it's all right. Well, I'll use it. I prefer using money. that. We'll use it. Well, you can't take ibuprofen. I mean, either. I can't either, but I, for certain things. I like it. I'll take it with you. Yeah, Frankie will take it too. It'll be, we'll use it. I'm just saying it won't be used. Yeah, it'll I'm take a while for us to really use it. I'll eat it like candy. Frank, huh? be a dumbass. What do you say? You just curse on your street. I'm going to put it That's okay. All right, guys, so I'm putting basil too. I put basil, onion powder, garlic powder. Um, olive oil, salt and pepper. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. And I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm just gonna make these. Um, by themselves, because we can't fit a whole bunch of stuff on here. I can't do anything with my left hand. So obnoxious. Do that. He's just buried behind pillows and blankets and toys. He's just mentally exhausted. You get any garlic powder on the squash or on, just on the floor? I put the other one. It's not garlic powder, it's salt. Whatever it was, that's salt. All right, I'm going to cut up cauliflower. I'm going to make some smashed cauliflower. And I'm going to make chicken in the oven. How I don't know yet. I'm trying to think of which how I want to do it. Trying to think. How I want to do it. Um. Do 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 do
just trying to think how I'm going to make the chicken. What am I going to do with it? Because... Try something different. Kubo, are you just in the bathroom drinking water? Why are you drinking out of the toilet bowl, mister? You have water right in your dish, mister boy. Isn't there any water? I'm trying to think, guys, what I'm going to. I feel like making something different. What elements do I have? I'm going to check it out and see what I got. All right, people. What I decided to make was I'm going to make stuffed chicken with caramelized onions and cream cheese. I'm going to make this mixture up and stuff it into the chicken and put it in the oven. I just feel like doing something different. I just feel like doing something different. So let's check these out. Oh, I better use my other hand because I just can't. Can't use one hand. Look at these. I'm gonna put some. Um, I'm gonna put some fresh garlic on this too. Some. Um, some. Um, I'm gonna put fresh parsley. And I'm gonna put fresh uh, minced garlic on here. Guys, these look so good. Some of my bees. Oh, I love it. I love it. Ow. I love it. Ow, ow, ow. I don't, I hope this isn't the last that I have of this. I have to put it on my list because I really just love this. I think it is. I think it's the end of this. Yep. What are you doing, buddy? They didn't say, Bill, that he'd have any, like, side effects of those shots. He, they didn't tell me. They didn't say anything. No. Well, I have the, I have the list of the, the shots that he had. So. Hmm. Oh my God, guys, the basil, between the basil and the garlic in here, amazing. Amazing. Oh. Yeah, that carrot went flying. And you know why? Because it wants me to eat it. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a little shake.
Watch. Let's cut up the onions first. I can get the onions sauteed quickly just so that I can make the mixture. You know what I mean? My son, my husband, myself, we are just crazy onion people. I mean, we really, really like love onions so this is going to be really good sometimes you just got to make something different you know just try things you, you can 95 percent of the time it's going to come out good and if it doesn't you can make it into something else or i don't know don't be afraid to experiment, guys, a little bit. thing. <laughs> Went right in my potato thing. Jesus Lord in heaven. I want them kind of thin. I think that this should be enough. Put these in here. these over there. Um, Guys, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm creating, guys, creating tonight. That's what I'm doing. Mommy. I'm going to cut some fresh garlic up, guys, for this. I'm letting the pan um, 
heat up a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up some broccoli too. I'm going to make a broccoli onion cream cheese mixture. And if my son wasn't eating, I'd be putting mushrooms in it. But my son is eating, so I won't put mushrooms in it. I'll save the mushrooms for another night, just me and Bill. as long as I don't lift my shoulder. I lift my shoulder up. I keep my forearm down. It's pretty good. Lifting it up. I mean, it, it, I can lift it up all the way, but it hurt like hell. But... So the, um, ow, so the pan is starting to heat up. Put the onions, some olive oil. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear that sizzle whizzle. garlic to the side. Love these pans, by the way. Love them, love them, and love them. We got those at Ollie's, right? Yeah. He's fairly small. Oh. I'm not going to lie, guys. It does hurt. It hurts to do this. do it with my left hand. I just can't. A couple more pieces. Good. I think I'm going to freeze the rest of this broccoli. I really do because I don't, I don't want it to go to waste. All right, put the garlic in there. A 
We'll also put the broccoli too. for some timing guys. Just a little bit of time. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Some onion powder. Some garlic powder. Really? No butter? I'm going to open up this cream cheese. And this is what I'm going to do, guys. I gotta get some butter. Then I gotta put butter in here, so. didn't open. Alright guys, I'm going to put some butter in here. The chicken broth literally fell on the floor and it didn't open. I couldn't, I couldn't, I can't believe it. Flame. 
pages out. Check out these because I don't want them to overcook. this chicken broth opened. melt a little bit and then guys what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the cream cheese in here and then I'm gonna put um, some mozzarella in there mix that up with it and then stuff the chicken with it so we got to get I got to finish getting the um, the chicken together so this is cream cheese, broccoli, onions. Let this melt, start melting in here. Get this covered up so it can start melting. Breaking it up a little bit. Alright. What are you doing, cutie? Hmm? Huh? What are you doing? Alright. Gonna let that cook up a little bit. On low. Mm. The squash is so good. It's so good. about this I gotta work that out I don't know if I can get that in in with everything tonight we'll see That's one, guys. Mmm, this is looking so good. Look at this. Look. Cream cheese oils melting down. That is going to be so freaking yummy. Yummy, yummy. Yeah. 
Yes, it is. Do, 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 do. Guys, this week, I think tomorrow, I'm going to start organizing this kitchen. The kitchen needs to be organized. I need, I have so much, I have so much cabinets situations to do. A little bit of grated cheese. And then we're going to put some, we're going to put some mozzarella in there. Is my arm. I know. I know. All right, we're slicing the mozzarella up in here. Koopy's being such a good boy. You want a little treat, Koopy, but here. Here, buddy. Have some cheese. Have some cheese for you. I'm gonna shut the flame off of this for a minute. I wanna just let the cheese melt without anything burning or anything, and I wanna taste it. Let's taste and see what it tastes like. Mm. Mm. It's really good. It's really good. More salt and pepper. More onion. A little more garlic. And I'm gonna put some of this in if I can get it. If I can get it out. Oh, let's get this out. Nothing's really coming out of that side. But look at that, guys. Look at that. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Use your fingers. When you can, they're the best tools. Look at that. And I'm going to put fresh parsley in here, too. I'm going to get my parsley. Wash my hands off. I don't know where the freaking fresh parsley is, and I'm not searching right now. I just can't search right now. So. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to do now. The oven's on already. I'm just going to stuff the chicken, and then we're going to put it in the oven. With this mixture. All this mozzarella is going to be melted. 
Let me taste it one more time to see if it's sufficient. Mmm. Oh my God, it's so good. That is so good. I really like that, guys. I really like it. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to season. I'm going to season the chicken with salt and pepper. And I had the paprika get end up over here. Oh, here's the basil. And a little bit of basil. And we're going to do this. We're gonna cake. Some of this mixture. Okay. Let's salt the outside, pepper it, garlic powder it, onion powder it. Let's try to rub that seasoning in. And it's not going to be a perfect thing, you know. Hopefully all the stuff will stay in it. Just tuck it in there. And let's move on to the next one. So I'll make the next one. All right, people. So here it is stuff. Now what I'm going to do is this. Have some mixture left over okay that I left purposely out because I want to put it on top of each one if I don't have enough I'm going to take some out of some of the stuffing inside the chicken because I want to put it on top I think it's going to be delicious if I can get it on top I'm gonna lower the um the oven too because I have it on 425. I think that's way too high probably. Cause you you mean the to me. No one can deny this love I have inside. I was listening to music, guys. And I can to you, my love, my love, my love, my endless love. Try to be easy. I don't want to scrape my pain in. Okay, that's it. That was it. 
going to lower this to 400. We're going to put this in the oven and let this cook about 30 minutes. Alexis, at the timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. And we'll put the, um, the other things back in, in a few minutes. All right. Husband's in the shower, so can't run the water. Guys. I'm gonna cut this cauliflower up. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Let me get a microwave bowl. Um, guys he has to eat he has to eat less now but I'm gonna start that tomorrow I'm not gonna start it tonight because he didn't have as much this morning Ugh, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this because I gave him less this morning in case he um you know threw up in the car because sometimes he gets sick in the car when we take him out but. so I'm gonna give him Because I'm not going to use all of this for the cauliflower mash. I'm just going to use some of it. I want to cut it as small as possible because it has to cook in there. guys let's put some salt in here we'll put a, like a tablespoon of butter I'll season it after as well but I just want to um, put this in to begin some pepper ow 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 I know, 
I'm probably doing too much. Probably, but it is what it is. Some basil. I'm going to put some onion and garlic powder in here, and then I'm going to put it in the microwave for like 10 minutes. There we go, guys. Let's put this in the mic. I hope this bowl is okay in there. Ow, ow, and ow. The marathon has ended, basically. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. I know I'm crazy. My run's canceled Friday, and now I gotta go to Elmira. Well, I knew I'd be working anyway. One way uh, or the other. Mm -hmm. One's on vacation. Oh, uh, okay. I have two buses going to Elmira, so I'm doing the second bus. Yeah. Oh, is he? Yeah, so at least he's working. He's working tonight and Friday. Oh, good, okay. They had him on a schedule for tomorrow night. Yeah. But he said to me, he goes, how am I going to work tomorrow night when they have me on schedule Friday morning? Oh. So I said, yeah, I know. And then he texted me back saying that uh, Marino must have realized it took a while. All right, guys. I decided that um, on top of the chicken, it needs a little something. It needs a little sauce on there. So I'm going to open up a can of cream of chicken soup, not mushroom, because my son is a pain in the ass, doesn't like mushrooms. So I'm gonna do chicken soup. I'm gonna add some milk to this, not water, to make it a little creamier. Season it up, and then I'm gonna put it over the chicken. So let's do that. Season this up a little bit. I ain't kicking it, huh? Right Some onion pad. Oh, that's where he wants to be. Oh. Garlic. Nice, Pepper. Salt. Um. Mm. I'm gonna put some milk and some chicken broth in there. Oh, I got it. What time is it? I gotta feed him. Yeah, he's gonna eat. I'm gonna give him tomorrow. I'm gonna start on giving him a little bit less food because he had only had a little bit today, so. It was good. There's two buses going. Oh, yeah. Well, there wasn't a All right, guys. So we got a new garbage can. I, I didn't show you guys yet. We got an electric um, where, you know, it's it's a motion. And we put it in here now so Cooper can't get into it. And he hasn't. We had it for, when did we get it? Yesterday or the day before? Yesterday. Um, I put some salt and pepper in here. Um, and I put some chicken broth. I put half chicken broth, half milk and half all over my hand. Um, so, I'm just mixing it up a little bit because it's like, it was, it's gel, you know. The, the soup is, the, um, the chicken broth is still very jelly. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave a minute. So it gets a little bit cooked, the gel, you know. Once that, um, once the, uh, mommy's gonna get your food in one minute. Oh my word. Once uh, that <laughs> cauliflower comes out for a minute. Let me tell my son, he's asking me. Um, what's for dinner? I made stuff chicken with cream cheese and broccoli and onions and stuff with this mixture with a little gravy on top. It's going to be really good. 
but I didn't make anything with it other than um, cauliflower. So maybe you want to make rice. Just talking to my son. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, so I'm going to put this. Like I said, I seasoned it already. Probably about 20 minutes. Um, yeah, so let's put this stuff away. And that's going to be ringing any second. Oh, oh, I stripped over the rug. Oh. All right, let's get Cooper's food because he's waiting. Cooper's waiting. piece of steak. Mommy's going to give you that piece of steak. Oh, you're going to get that steak. Oh my goodness. Do, 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 do. He's done yet, but I'll check it out. But here's this piece of steak. I'm just going to um, wipe it off. Good. I'm going to scrape it off. I don't know what's on it. It's probably some, you know, some seasonings from the restaurant, obviously. But. I think it'll be all right. You know, if he doesn't. I don't think there's any really garlic on it. It wasn't like garlic, you know, it wasn't a garlic steak or anything like that, but. I think it'll be okay. He's gonna be a little pig in crap. Mm. Still so good. Cutting up that steak for him. The steak? The steak from um, Roadhouse. Oh, that's good. I'll put it in with his food. I won't give him as much as the other. It's really good. <laughs> you are such a lucky boy. Aren't you? You're such a lucky boy. Ow. Let me get his rice. Why you go? There you go. He's sitting there waiting. I am. He's such a good boy. He's waiting for his love now. Mommy's giving you such a treat tonight. For his din din. You're getting such a treat. getting, he's getting 
parsnip, carrots, sweet potato, steak, steak okay. and rice, and chicken. I'm going to check the, um, the cauliflower and see if it needs to go in again. I'm going to get that sauce and put it on top of the chicken. The chicken will be done soon. Let's put some rice in here. This is only for him, this rice. I make it only for this is made for him. Put this in the microwave just for a sec to chill it a little bit. Okay. We're going to put a little chicken broth in it just to drop, to moisten it up a little. Oh. It has the why I did that in the refrigerator. All right, Koopy, one minute. All right, this is all done. I'm gonna put all this stuff away. My arm is hurting. Wash my hands. You're gonna eat one second, buddy. Alexa, how much longer on the timer? You have eight minutes left on your 30 minute timer. Why does it seem so thick? I mean, so, um, thin. All right. Um, let's feed him and then we'll put that on top. All right. <clears throat> about two cups. what he deserves it. All puppies do. All doggies do. I love making my dogs happy just like I like making my kids happy. My husband and everything else. So. Alright, these seeds here I gotta do something with them before they end up in the garbage. Let's get the um the chicken out and put put the gravy on it. Um where's the thing? Okay. And those um, potatoes and carrots are going to be done any second. Ooh. Yum, oh, guys. Look at this shit. Look at it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is a little thin. I'm a little upset with that. But what am I going to do? I think it'll be fine. It'll thicken up.
You definitely need some sort of sauce. To moisten it all up. I'm gonna put the whole thing on it because why not? Let's see how that's going to be. We'll check that as soon as the timer goes off. And we'll check the chicken internally. And if it's done, we will be done. And we got to just make sure that that sauce is heated up enough. You know what I mean? Uh, let's throw all this stuff out. Get rid of all this stuff. This. I gotta get something. I gotta get my little. Where is that? Where did I put that freaking container that the other seeds are in? Oh, they're over here, but I can't. I don't wanna mix them up. I don't wanna mix the seeds up. This one here is, um, what was this? Oh, this is spaghetti squash. So I gotta write this down. I gotta write cops right on this. Spaghetti squash. Sp Come on. Spaghetti squash. And then the other one will be one will be butternut squash. Butternut squash and some other stuff. <laughs> so he eats everything in his dish and then he flips his dish over. Must have been real. He must have really liked that because it had steak, chicken, had all the good yummy. No, he does usually. Yeah, he licks it a lot. He licks it till he can't friggin' till you know. He almost licks the friggin' um paint off of it or whatever the hell's on it. All right, guys. My son's in there playing video games. I'm telling you. Alright, here we go. Butternut squash. Butter. Nut. Squash. We'll put these on the table because they have to dry out anyway. These are like on their way out to almost being done dried out. These just are obviously just started. 
Oh shit, I gotta check this cauliflower. I gotta go back in the microwave. Things are getting together. Oh shit. Alright, that's almost done by the time. Um, by the time everything is done, he'll, we'll, uh, it'll be done. Because everything's just about done, guys. Alright, um, so I took it out. I'm going to check the chicken. I put, this, I put the, um, the gravy on it. What I did, guys, was I wanted to thicken up the sauce, so I put it on broil. I put it under the broiler for like five minutes, and it made the sauce friggin' thick. See that? That's a trick you got right there. It thickened it up because it like made it a little crispy, and if that's the word for this. Guys, I don't know. This looks freaking so good. And this was just experimenting. Experiment, guys. If I would have had like spinach, I, I could have put spinach. I did probably have it downstairs, but frozen spinach. Um, you could do spinach. You could do any kind of thing. Stuff it. You got cream cheese, cream of chicken soup, stuffing, whatever you got. Ugh, you could do anything. Just think out of the box. I'm telling you. Alright, let's see if this is done. The cauliflower was almost done. I had to go in another minute. Let's see. It should be a 165. Okay, it's saying one, uh, 165. Yep, let's try this one. That one's the biggest one here. So let's make sure. Yeah, 175. And this is chicken breast, so you don't want this to overcook. You know what I mean? So it's definitely done. I'm not gonna put it in again. The cauliflower should be done any minute. I gotta get it soft enough where it's, um, yeah, where it's, uh, you know, oh my God, look at all that gooeyness. Oh, oh my God. Look at the gooeyness. Ooh, I used to do this with my kids all the time. Oh, my arm's killing me. I know, I know. I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I don't want to hear no judgments. I just don't. I appreciate it, but I don't want to hear no judgments. Ow. It's my own fault. Mm. Oh, my God. It's so good. Let me see if this is done. Let's fork it. We got to fork it. As soon as this is done, we can eat. We just have to mix it up. Yeah, I'm going to put it in another three minutes, and then we're going to eat. Because it has, you don't want it, you don't want the cauliflower to be hard, you know what I mean? This is so freaking good, I can't even resist keep eating it. Look at that, look at all that. That all that schmutz, all that schmutz. Mm, 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 mm. Ow, 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 ow. My husband's yelling at me. Bitch, 
should do my quote while I'm sitting here. All right, guys, here is my compassion empathy quote tonight. Love and compassion are necessities, not luxuries. Without them, humanity cannot survive. Love and compassion are necessities, not luxuries. Without them, humanity, humanity cannot survive, guys. <coughs> so, you cannot, humanity, which is, you know, um, caring about others and, 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 and living in a peaceful world and policing and all of that cannot survive until you have love and compassion. And those are necessities. They are necessities because if you don't have love and compassion, this is going to be a horrible world. And we have seen it. We've seen it. The people that don't, the people that would care less about others and all of that, we see how that turns out. So a love and compassion is a necessity, guys. And that is the, that is the God's honest truth. So I hope you guys like that verse. Love and compassion are necessities, not luxuries. Without them, humanity cannot survive. Pass it on, guys. Okay? Pass it on. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. All right. That's my compassion empathy quote for tonight. I'm not sure how long I'm doing this. I, I usually do it a month, but I don't even remember when I started this. Probably going to do it. Maybe I'll do it till um, the middle of next week, and then I'll switch to the, the middle of next week. I think I've been doing it like three, three weeks now, so... It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be a month. It's whatever I want it to be. So um, I'll do it until I feel like changing it, and then and then we'll change it to something else. That'll be that'll be that'll be good. Um, where is that? Oh, it's on there. All right, I'm gonna get that pot, that bowl. In one minute, it's gonna be done, and I'm gonna see if that um, cauliflower is done. Let me get the strainer because I need to strain it. You know what? I have the strainer in here. I'll use. Um, uh, I'm, I'm taping. I'll stop for a minute. All right, guys. I think it's done. Um, Frankie's going to use the microwave anyway, but I think that's fine. I think that's enough. So I'm just going to put this in here, then I'm going to put it back in here. I'm going to leave a little bit of that oil. Not a lot, just a little bit. I'm going to be putting um, some other stuff in here, like... <clears throat> milk and um and all that. Let me put this I'll turn this over a little bit. So. Ow. 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 Alright. Let's get some butter. Put some butter in here. How was your shake earlier? It was really good. It was good. Like it could no, not at all. It didn't give me anything. Like I, I had a um, a protein shake earlier, a, a meal replacement, and it was delicious. It probably next time I probably make that a little bit thinner. Well, we'll use it. Yeah, we'll use the other yeah. Next time. But um, I used a different one, but it was so good. And I'm telling you, my I haven't been like hungry. Like I'm usually always picking. I haven't been. Well, that, that was a, that was the meal replacement. That's why. That was a meal replacement. Which made me yeah. those work like to buy yeah. those. And, you know, I don't know. I, I don't want to say anything, but the D word has really been... What was I doing? The D word has really been pretty good. I, I'm going to make a perfect shake tonight. I have to say that. I want to try one. Yeah. Try it. It's so probably a big wonder, though. Yeah. So I want to use a smice. All right, I'm going to put a little half and half in here, guys, and some butter. Who is that? Cauliflower. No. I might even put a little bit of sour cream. I'm gonna see how it, what it, what it, um. I see your sling's working out great. Oh, I gotta take my, um, my things are done. I gotta take them. <clears throat> they have an arguer. No, I'm sure you did for a minute. What? Huh? i you did for a minute. Or Listen, you two, zip it. Then you realize it wasn't worth it. I might have to do the, use the mixer because it's, very like just smash it. ricey. Dad's on the mixer coming out. What? He said to smash it. His on the mixer coming out. 
not the, the hand mixer. Ow. Would you like me to do it? Okay. No, I can't. I need the control in the kitchen. I know. Sounds like a big problem there. I got issues. Yes, I do. But so does hubby, so we were a very good pair. Let's put the chicken over on the stove here. Okay, move that little thing over, that pan. Just when you take the chicken, don't destroy the stove. You got dog yeah, it's definitely becoming better. You're getting steak? I gave him my piece of um, my steak that I had left over from um, Texas Roadhouse. I really like Texas Roadhouse. We gotta go there more often. I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't want to have You run home. We can't wait for you. We gotta live our life too, don't we? No. Right, guys? No. Not fair. It really wasn't fair. Al. Hmm. Taste this and see what we need if we need anything. Mm. Okay. Go there in a second. Give me a second. All right, what do we think? Let's see. It's got to be a little um, ricey. Oh, it needs so much. It's like four and a half minutes. I've been on four to four minutes. It's still cold on the inside. I feel it. I put so much stuff in here. I don't understand why it doesn't taste like anything. How could it not taste like anything? I don't get it. It's cauliflower? Yeah, but cauliflower takes on any taste that you... Put some sour cream in it. Do, do, do. Ow. It hurts after the fact. Oh, I have some tempty cream that are cream cheese I could put in it. Very happy with your no, I'm not, because it's not, it's not creamy like freaking mashed potatoes. I need to like, do stuff. All right, Frank. All right, guys, so here is my dish. Guys, my hubby says it's delicious. I tasted it. It's amazing. I got my, I got a half a piece. I got some cauliflower. What I had to do was I just... Use a slotted spoon for the cauliflower because I think I added too much water. I mean, too much milk and too much sour cream, but but that's okay. Um, it's really good now. So this is what's for dinner tonight, guys. So excited. It's going to be delicious. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys... Um, let me come, let me turn it around. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget um, to subscribe to my channel because when you subscribe, it really helps my channel grow and I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the notification button with that bell so you guys can be notified every time.
I upload a new video, like and share and comment down below. And um, I'm going to be, guys, in the next couple of days, I'm going to be getting um, a P.O. box. So for the people who have asked me about it, I'll let you know when that's going to be up. When um, I'll, I'll put that in my about. And also, if um, you ever want to support me, I have my Venmo up, my Venmo up there. It's um, uh, Go look at my about because I totally forgot what it is. I think it's Create with, yeah, create with Linda, um, capital C, capital W, capital L, at. Um, so yeah, so, uh, there it is. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I love you. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for, so, thanks for, um, creating with me in my kitchen. I'll see you next time. Bye.